Okay, so we're going to start a short series on uh, people in this business getting licensed. Um, there's a lot of discussion about being licensed, and I talked, I've talked to people in other markets who tell me that they don't think they should be licensed because they're governed by uh, some uh, real estate board, and they can't do what they're doing if they're governed by it. I don't know anything about that. In New York, uh, I know our uh, LIBOR, the, the uh, Long Island Board of Realtors, has no problem doing what we're doing when being licensed. I think in 99% of the places in this country, if not all, it's okay being licensed. Some people have sort of incorporated into their pitch to sellers that, uh, that realtors stink and don't deal with them and they're horrible. Now, most of that's true. A lot of realtors do stink. Um, but I think it's foolish to, to act that way. Uh, I foolish to say that. The reality is that 90% approximately of every house, of all houses in any area, are going to sell on MLS, on the multiple listing service, through a realtor. Um, the concept that I'm going to talk crap about a realtor to try and convince someone who would list with a realtor to sell the house to me, to me, to me sounds foolish. So we are realtors, and we have converted a lot of deals right, to listings, and we make money on listings. Um, if you don't want to make money on listings, that's fine, but uh, we think you probably should incorporate it into your, into your uh, strategy. So there's three main reasons why I think everybody in this business should be licensed, and we're going to go on a video on each of these three following, but I'm going to just summarize them very quickly first. The first is to get the best information, and that's through multiple listing service. If you're running your business through Zillow or other way, you're not getting the best information. Having access to that is really important, and as a, as a realtor, you have that. Now, there are there other ways, sure, but it's still important and the easiest way to get it. The second is what I just said, is that is to convert deals into listings. You're going to go on properties. People are going to tell you they're motivated. You're going to get to the property. It's going to be in great condition. They're going to want retail price. It's foolish not to try and, and make money off that. You already spent money on the marketing. And the third is to list your own properties. If you're doing even wholesale deals, and it's legal in my area, I can put a property on that I don't own. I don't. I can't represent that I own it, but I list it as a contract vendee, and we get more people that way. And we'll talk more about that in a few days. Um, and certainly if you're rehabbing, you want to list the properties yourself and not be beholden to somebody else. So we're going to talk more about all three of these reasons, but I think it's foolish for anybody that's doing this full time not to be licensed. It's simple. It's not that expensive. It's not hard. And uh, we're going to talk more about why in the next few days.